Very good evening from the Capital Showdown team. Every day we take you where the story is. And today the story is in Patparganj. There are two rallies happening here. Just nine days to go before Delhi goes to polls. Uh, for starters, where we are, let's tell you. We are in Mayur Vihar. Why we are here? Because uh, just another next five minutes, uh, there will be a concert here by Vishal Dadlani for Manish Sisodia. Manish Sisodia right now speaking on the dais. Yesterday, we were where Sushma Swaraj was. So clearly, all parties pulling all the stops to woo the vote in the national capital. But today, the big development happened from the BJP. Indications were rife only from yesterday itself. Amit Shah, clearly the party president, not too happy on how the BJP campaign is unfolding. Massive meeting took place today where Amit Shah, on his own, shared that meeting. Lots of things were set in place. There are two issues what, that worry Amit Shah at this point of time. Number one, the very fact that Arvind Kejriwal in all polls is emerging as the front runner. The Ahmadmi party going neck and neck with the BJP. Amit Shah not too happy with that. We're going to get you the latest on that. But uh, what has been put in place? Well, Amit Shah has put in 19 ministers in charge of the Delhi campaign. Most of them from outside. The boots on the ground will be of none else but Kada from outside because it seems the Delhi top brass does not have much faith in the local leadership there. We are going to put across now on what has been put in place by Amit Shah and why so. But quickly, I'm going to ask Zahi to show you what's taking place on the stage here and that is Vishal Dadlani will be here any time now. It's a battle of prestige for Amit Shah. His full prowess is at stake. He's called the shots till now. He's bet on a horse like Kiran Bedi against opposition from the local party. Will it work? Well, we'll all know come the 10th of February. But the kind of things that have been put in place, cabinet ministers, there every day, every three hours, there are press conferences by the BJP taking question for question. Asking five questions where Arvind Kejriwal, the Aam Aadmi Party is concerned. The likes of Smriti Irani, the Power Minister, Mr. Piyush Goyal, Nirmala Sita Raman, uh, Arun Jaitley, made in charge of the campaign in Delhi. Each of these ministers, 19 ministers from all across uh, India, have been put in place to take on the might of the Aam Aadmi Party. Amit Shah has given his ministers clearly a dressing down, asking them to stop flying high and focus on ground realities. The BJP president also asking the leaders to bring back the passion they once had and campaign with full fervor. Is the BJP losing confidence in Delhi polls? Well, that is what it looks like after today's mega party meet in the national capital. Let's get you reactions. आने वाले सात आठ दिनों में यानी पांच तारीख शाम को पांच बजे तक सत्तर विधानसभाओं में ढाई सौ छोटे छोटे रैलियों को सभाओं को भारतीय जनता पार्टी करेगी हर विधानसभा में हम इसको करने वाले हैं और प्रसार प्रसिद्धि के बारे में भी माननीय अध्यक्ष जी के नेतृत्व में हमने पूरा कार्य योजना बनाया है पूरा प्रदेश भर में यानी दिल्ली में एक एक विधानसभा क्षेत्र में हजार से ज्यादा बैनर लगने वाले हैं फेयर अमाउंट ऑफ नर्वसनेस वेर इट कम्स डाउन वेर अमित शाह इज कंसर्न देर आर लॉर्ड ऑफ रेप्यूटेशन एट स्टेक द लास्ट नाइन डेज विल हैव ओवर टू हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी रैलीज नाइनटीन मिनिस्टर्स Carder from 13 states, not too many, too much faith on the local leadership. Why? Why the nervousness right now? Well, the BJP also realizes that you know that Delhi Assembly election is their first litmus test because if you uh, compare the rest of the uh, the results of last uh, three to four Assembly election, those states had various anti-incumbency factors and other factors involved where Congress was in decline and they were Congress ruled state. But this particular state has no such factor. Whatever angst the people had against Congress was dissolved and was reflected in the last uh, Assembly election, which was held in 2013. 
A BJP's master stroke was to get Kiran Bedi or induct Kiran Bedi as the chief ministerial right. candidate. Surely has not gone down well with the cadre. Though there is a surge in certain amounts of yes. vote, be it middle class or in a women voter, but there is a sizable section, the committed cadre of BJP. They are not feeling that enthused. And the core message of today's meeting was to set back right. that particular enthusiasm or passion back in the cadre, without which it will be impossible to then win this particular battle. And this is start right. of the year. Bridget, how is the Aam Aadmi taking it? Yes. How is the Aam Aadmi taking it? Uh, Aam Aadmi party taking it? What is Arvind Kejriwal's uh, game plan? I have Ankit here with me who's tracking developments. Ankit, with what is going on with the BJP at this point of time? Amit Shah, a lot of reputations at stake. What's going on with the Aam Aadmi party? Arvind Kejriwal is clearly a happy man today. I spoke to the senior leadership today and they were beaming. They believe that the BJP now has fallen into, it's gone into a free fall. They also believe that by these panic attacks, like with the, uh, you know, getting the entire cabinet in the state unit of BJP completely, you know, putting the state unit of the BJP on one side, the, the message that the voters are getting is that BJP is nervous and they have hit the panic button. And that is why Amadi Party believes that as of now there is a massive undercurrent for them. Whether that belief holds true when the uh, voting uh, takes place on uh, 7 or not, we will have to wait and see. But as of now, extremely confident Aam Aadmi Party, resurgent Aam Aadmi Party. Ashar, we heard uh, Rahul Gandhi today. He was holding a press conference. He also, not saying much about the BJP, but going head on, tearing it, tearing into uh, the Aam Aadmi Party and Arvind Kejriwal. Well, there was a rally of Rahul Gandhi today. It was there in Shastri Park in the Silampur area. The first person to attack uh, which Rahul Gandhi did was none other than the Prime Minister Narendra Modi. In fact, so much so that in the last couple of months or so, we've never seen such an uh, such a uh, Rahul Gandhi in such an attacking mode. He attacked his suit length, the cost of his suit length. He attacked him on fake promises on where is the 15 lakh rupees which was supposed to come into the accounts. And then the target was none other than the convener of the Aam Aadmi Party, that is Arvind Kejriwal. Yes, a very combative Rahul Gandhi because he saw the crowds in that area there is a local MLA of the yes. Congress party he was pretty much there so uh, what we are expecting is that after the last two uh, outings of Rahul Gandhi that yes. is the road show and the rally uh, perhaps one more road show can be planned for Rahul Gandhi but as of now there's one rally left of Rahul Gandhi which is there on right. the 4th of February and that of the Congress president on the 1st of February well, if, you know, uh, gentlemen, stay on with me. Now, if uh, the BJP has pulled out all the stops when it comes down to the Delhi campaign, then the Aam Aadmi Party is doing its own bid. Right here, we are expecting Vishal Dadlani. So, if BJP has political power backing it, then the Aam Aadmi Party has star power backing it. Uh, I want to cut across to Sanket Upadhyay, my colleague, standing right uh, getting us the very latest in terms of what kind of leaders have been pulled into campaign in the national capital with just over a week to go. Now with less than 10 days left for the capital showdown, the Delhi elections, it seems that all political parties, whether it's the BJP, the Aam Aadmi Party or the Congress have gone into political overdrive. Let's talk about the BJP first, where the entire might of the Modi Sarkar has be descended upon Delhi. The full weight has been put behind Kiran Bedi. You have people like Arun Jaitley who's a finance minister, he has a union budget to prepare for, but he is going to participate actively as far as Delhi elections are concerned. We believe he will sit in the Delhi party headquarters. Piyush Goyal, who is a power minister, will answer all the tough questions, the tough posers related to power that Arvind Kejriwal has been posing. He's going to put that in place. And Nirmala Sitaram's expertise, formerly as a party spokesperson, will also be put in place. JP Nadda for all the health-related questions, education-related questions, Smriti Irani, Harsh Vardhan will also be, because of his experience in Delhi in the past, will also be campaigning quite actively. Apart from that, a whole host of senior party leaders are going to campaign in what we are being told, 250 small or big rallies combined over the period of the next seven days. Let's now talk about the Aam Aadmi Party. Now remember, Aam Aadmi Party had a stellar performance last time around. Of course, not a full house, not a full majority. But this time around, they have also launched what uh, could be called the Aam Aadmi's firepower. You have poet Kumar Vishwas, uh, actress uh, Gul Panag, who also contested from the Chandigarh seat, Bhagwant Maan, who is a party MP, as well as music director Vishal Dadnani, who would be carrying out campaigning in various parts of the national capital. and. 
last but not the least, a party which has ruled Delhi for close to 15 years has decided that all its old war horses are going to campaign in the Delhi elections to give a big, pu big push, in fact, to boost Markan's prospects. You have Salman Khurshid, former Minister of External Affairs, C.P. Joshi, former Railways Minister, Bhupender Singh Hoda, former Haryana Chief Minister, as well as Anand Sharma, a former Minister in the UPA Cabinet, who is going to campaign. Along with Veer Bhadra Singh, who is the Chief Minister of Himachal, Ashok Gehlot, former Chief Minister of Rajasthan, and Pawan Bansal of the Congress Party. All this campaigning happening, so it is going to be a very hectic, last-minute campaigning session as far as Delhi is concerned. Well, that is quite a star-studded campaign uh, where it comes down to the national capital. But in midst of all of this, away from the Congress and the Aam Aadmi Party, the question is about the BJP. It does seem that the best laid plans of Amit Shah not going according to script. Uh, and we, we want to engage with our viewers. Uh, they're putting out a question there. Feel free to tweet under the hashtag uh, Capital Showdown. The question we want to put out today. Now, it is on Amit Shah. His political prowess on stake. Is Amit Shah panicking today? That's the question we put out. Uh, from tomorrow, we're going to be going across to our editors to give you an editorial take. Uh, do keep your tweets going and we will air them live. You're going to run a Twitter scroll as well. Uh, more so, every day, uh, me and my colleagues go out, hit the streets uh, and get you the reaction uh, from... All right, Vishal Dadlani is right here. The concert from the Aam Aadmi Party has begun. So we're going to come back to the concert, but with what I was saying earlier, every day we are going to get a candidate, take him around in a quick auto ride and ask him the important questions that need answered. Rishika Barua, my colleague, interviewed Nupur Sharma, who's taking on Arvind Kejriwal. politician Nupur Sharma, the BJP young gun is taking on Arvind K. Driwal from the New Delhi constituency. Very special auto stand. Nupur, thanks for uh, coming to our thanks for coming to our auto stand today. We're going to take you for a little spin inside the, your own campaign auto and talk to you about uh, what you're really thinking of this election. Come. Nupur, you're taking on the big gun. Former Chief Minister, how does it feel? This is your first election. Every election is meant to be fought to be won. This is my actual first state election. But everybody starts somewhere. It's not that K Mr. Kejriwal was fighting his 10th election. What is it that Nupur Sharma has that Arvind Kejriwal doesn't? Stability. Reliability. I'm not going to run away. I'll work in the area. I live in the area. Nupur, you're 29 years old. You're not the quintessential politician. You don't fit the stereotype of a politician. Uh, what's going to be your, uh, you know, your USP, your chief strategy going forward? People need a change. Isn't that uh, the reason why uh, so many people are, you know, supporting new ideas, new vision, new delivery chances, and, and normal middle class people like me? 20. I went to college with you. Why can't an LSE graduate? Come here and serve people. What stops us? We have temporary roles, which I intend to make regular. Not just by extending temporary roles up to 10 years, but I'm going to ensure that the rules are relaxed. I'm going to fight for it. You're essentially talking of very localized issues. Yes. Uh, at the same time, many believe that the BJP is at this point in time nervous, all the big guns coming out and campaigning for you. Well, that's big guns can go out and campaign uh, elsewhere. The fact is that I'm, I'm yet to have a big gun campaign in my election yet. I'm going to ask you a question that you've been asked before and I know you don't like. Is Nupur Sharma being made a scapegoat in the BJP Not this time? Not This was my choice. I was asking for this ticket last time. This is home for me. Where else will I work? That's why I continue to ask this year as well. Like I said, everybody starts somewhere. Was Mr. Kejriwal a big gun when he fought the election? We didn't expect him to do even get 28 seats, but today his party doesn't stand with him and he hasn't delivered. So now he has a history and a report card behind him. That time Nupur Sharma, him. always a pleasure speaking to you. you. Wish you all the best. Thank, Thank you. you for being on board the auto stand today. So that is BJP's uh, young gun. Like I said, she's not the quintessential Neta. Uh, she is fighting the election, of course, uh, against uh, Arvind Kejriwal, who is in fact the former chief minister, the biggest challenge 
for the BJP. And there you have it, Nupur Sharma, the young gun there, uh, fighting this election on board the auto stand for Capital Showdown. This is Drishika Barua reporting from New Delhi with camera person Ankur Aroda. Well, we want to just tell you on what's uh, going on right on stage. Uh, the Aam Aadmi Party tearing into the BJP on the issue of not making uh, their funds uh, uh, public where black money is concerned. Now, this is how they collect money. Kya kar rahi hai? Maa, main paisa collect kar rahi hai. Daan hum log le rahe hai yaha pe. Jo bhi kitna bhi contribute kar sakta hai. 5 rupee, 10 rupee, 50 rupee, whatever. Har ek rally jo aisa hota hai, kitne collect kar lete ho? Around 1,000, 2,000. 1,000, 2,000. Well, that's what they do. Every rally that is, they collect about 1,000, 2,000. We let them. Uh, at what they are doing, but uh, let's cut across them. Um, every time we pick out the best soundbite of the day. Today, it was Rahul Gandhi. Congress party, Garibu ke party hai, Garibu ke saath khadi rahegi, aur aap ke saath hamara nishtaara na usko chhodne wale nahi. Where we are, we are at Vishal Dadlani's concert in New Delhi. Tomorrow, we will go to a rally of the BJP and day after you see us at Congress. Beta, kya ho raha hai? Kyu hai yahan par? क्योंकि यहाँ पे आम आदमी पार्टी की रैली चल रही है क्योंकि आम आदमी पार्टी जीतेगी क्योंकि आम आदमी पार्टी जीतेगी एवरी डे एवरी डे वी विल गेट यूर रिएक्शन फ्रॉम द स्ट्रीट एज इट हैपन बट टूडे इट वॉज क्वाइट इंटरेस्टिंग किरण बेदी टूडे मॉर्निंग रिफ्यूज टू से सिंगल वर्ड शी सेट हर थ्रोट वॉज बैड मेनी एट्रीब्यूट टू अ गैग ऑर्डर कमिंग इन फ्रॉम द टॉप ब्रास लॉट वेंट आउट इन लॉट गॉट कन्फ्यूज देर लॉट वॉज लॉस्ट इन ट्रांसलेशन वॉट डिड द पीपल ऑन द स्ट्रीट्स ऑफ डेली एक्चुअली make out of what happened my colleague ankit tyagi went out there for from the team of capital showdown it's uh, good night goodbye we'll of course see you tomorrow 7 pm do to stay tuned in to capital showdown our show also now in the morning at 9:30 am so the election campaign in delhi has hit fever pitch and unfortunately for the bjp their chief ministerial candidate has lost her voice she says that uh, there is a throat infection that is preventing her from speaking many say probably it's a gag order that the bjp has imposed on their chief ministerial candidate well uh, she was in fact today speaking uh, in some sort of a sign language i couldn't make much sense of it but uh, i am trying to go around asking people whether they could understand the message that mrs kiran bedi was trying to give the voters of delhi <laughs> What do you think she's trying to say? She wants to convey vote for BJP, uh, and with, with those signs only. She's she's giving that much message with those signs, yeah. Instead of say, saying anything, she want to do something for our country. Sorry. Two punch. Two kilo ka hath hai. Ek baar ud gaya to sab ud jayenge. वॉल्यूम कम कर केजरीवाल जग जाएगा खामोश आवाज नीचे मारो मारो सबको मारो और राइट सो सो इट इट प्रोबेबली दैट इज नॉट द पॉलिटिकल मैसेज दैट यूज ट्राइंग टू डू बट थैंक यू सो मच फॉर बीइंग सच अ स्पोर्ट ये किरण बेदी कह रहे हैं जी कि आप भाजपा को वोट दें यहाँ कैमरे लगे हुए हैं किसी को कोई पता ना लगे definitely not what she probably would be trying to say of course uh, uh, but uh, here's wishing uh, kiran bedi a very speedy recovery and we hope to hear soon from her with camera person vishal behal ankit tyagi in new delhi for headlines today